Good early morning, YouTube. 3.11, that's not p.m., that's a.m. I want to show you here. Departure time set for 4 a.m. Ugh. And it's uh, it's cold out. So let me um, let me show you a couple things here. This is, uh, I'm, I'm in the Ford Pass app. Um, it, it, you know, you can, it'll update itself here. Um, we, they, they did have an update. Didn't seem like it was anything significant though, uh, unfortunately, because it, it seems to be having some connectivity issues. If you look up here, you see that little key. So what that's meaning, or what that's telling me is that it's actually made contact with the vehicle. Departure time set for 4 a.m. Here's what I'm concerned about. It's 3.12 a.m. And it's at least minus 5 Fahrenheit out right now. Typically, the vehicle would have started preconditioning already. If I click the home button here on the bottom, you can see updated just now. So that confirms that I know that uh, the, the app is talking with the vehicle. The vehicle, you know, is... Uh, the key here. So, I mean, if I was next to the vehicle, it would be illuminated. Uh, it would know that I'm there. I'm not. I'm actually quite a ways away from it. I just wanted to quickly bring this up because I don't know if this is going to work. Here's what we were going to test today. Uh, what are we at? 87% charge level. It's cold out. Vehicle is not plugged in, but we do have it set to allow for preconditioning of the vehicle when it's not plugged into. Uh, grid power. So I wanted to do a test on that today, but I wanted to start this video off with this and uh, we'll see what happens once I get out there. So stay tuned. Here we go. Well, here we go. Just got in. Let me uh, get that going. Fourteen degrees. Fourteen degrees. Let me turn this down here for a minute. Oh, for crying out loud, I'm so upset. So these are some screenshots that I took from earlier. You could see we had 87% battery, 149 uh, estimated distance. There was an update to the Ford Pass app, which uh, I don't know, really doesn't change much. It says your most recent charging details cannot be reported because your vehicle fell asleep. I thought, well, this is interesting. So this came out from this last app update so to get the latest information wake up your vehicle with either the remote start lock unlock using the ford key pass or your key fob so this was much earlier in the night okay so i thought all right um or actually in the morning because it is really early it's 4 a.m right now uh just a little bit ago it says you're seeing the latest or you're seeing the latest charging details because your vehicle told us before it fell asleep um, and this is again, this is a screenshot, but what I want to show you here, departure time, 4 a.m. Wednesday, okay, 4 a.m. Wednesday. Today at 3.55 a.m., SRS triggered, do vehicle unplugged. I don't even know what that means. Your scheduled start has initiated because my Mustang Mach-E is unplugged. This will condition your cabin temperature per in-vehicle settings. Well, no kidding, I have it set that way. You can see yesterday, 3.26 p.m., departure time, synced. That means everything was ready to go inside the vehicle. You can see the current range and everything else there. Let me bring you to, oops, I gotta be in settings here. Oh gosh, sorry guys, I wasn't even looking at my phone in the right spot. So let me just show you this, departure and comfort. Today is Wednesday, 4 a.m. This was already set in the vehicle yesterday, like a long time ago. Um, this this all this this was all set and it's 14 degrees in here let me show you something else oops in the uh, um, Ford pass app here gosh it's really tough to do one-handed sorry guys okay so departure time Wednesday at 4 let me let me get this closer allow start when vehicle is unplugged yes this is I'm in the Chicago time zone 4 a.m. Wednesday, set to warm. Everything was set right in the app. I made sure the phone as a key was active, as you guys saw in the little blip video I did before this. Um, five minutes, so at 3.55 a.m., when everything was set for 4 a.m., at 3.55 a.m., it decides to start preconditioning the cabin. The outside temp, minus four, 
and we're at 14 in the cabin. I, I, I don't even know. I, for crying out loud. How many times do we have to go over this? Similar thing happened if you guys, I don't know, my last video didn't get a lot of views. I think I might have titled it improperly. Uh, but you can watch that one too where a preconditioned time just kind of like failed. I don't know what the deal was. We talked about these battery bars in a couple videos. If, if you guys are able to see that, I know it's dark. Oh boy, I don't know if I can even get close enough, but you can kind of see the bars there. Um, there was, I, I don't believe that when we're unplugged, and, and I just so you guys know that, I was unplugged, okay? That's why I made sure this was set, allow to start when vehicle is unplugged. I don't believe that it will precondition the batteries. However, I do have the departure and comfort to come on a minimum of 15 minutes. So if nothing else, we should have started preconditioning the cabin much longer. So why, even though I have the phone as a key enabled on here, and you guys could see in my previous video that it had the little icon up there, why are we not communicating and why is the vehicle falling asleep and not able to tell what time it is? You know, it's 4.06 a.m., that time is right. Ugh, I just I don't get it you guys. I don't know. I can all I can tell you is I'm really frustrated I'm disappointed in Ford and I don't know I'm back to like wanting to turn this thing in so I gotta call it here The reason I'm up really is I got a lot of stuff going on this morning. So short video uh, Continuing on with the problems guys Let me know if you think I'm missing something, but uh, I will uh, follow up with you if I get some updates from Ford or or whatnot. So, wanted to pull over here quick. 64 degree temperature, and we are 19. Well, so let's just call it 20 minutes in. Temperature is 422. Temperature's been bouncing around between minus seven and minus eight. I want to show you guys because this seems like there was a question that e heat is on. Uh, it just toggled off of recirculation, so I did have that on. The cabin temperature is between 36 and 41 degrees, and that's all the warmer we've gotten. This is, it's just ridiculous, you guys. Um, so not only do you have a PTC heater in this that is absolutely not sufficient for below zero temperatures, again, 20 minutes in, um, you've got a departure schedule that's not working. And I, again, I don't know if it's, um, you know, the, the vehicle just isn't telling the time properly or, or what the heck is going on, but come on, Ford. Seriously, get it together. This is absolutely absurd. I've got, I'm not even kidding. My friends with uh, ICE vehicles are just laughing at me. You know, um, you paid a bunch of money for this fancy new rig and it's just, subpar at best when it comes to this heater performance and now the departure schedule so yeah this is uh this isn't going well you guys i'm frustrated i don't know what else to do i think i just gotta call it i gotta get to work here um that's why i'm up so early uh i'll just be a little cold when i get to the job site so it is what it is thanks for watching guys we'll see you on the next video